Hi friends, welcome back to my channel XO Zane. I'm Zane Banyan and today's video is going to be all about beauty subscription boxes, specifically the two most popular ones, Ipsy versus BoxyCharm. How do they work? What do you get in them? How much do they cost? And most importantly, which one is the better value? I did a ton of research for you so you don't have to. Please stick around. Before we get started though, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you so much for all of the support so far. My first three videos have done way better than I ever thought that they would. Speaking of which, I know it's been a while since my last video. I did do a Facebook Live a few, maybe like a week ago. So thank you for everyone who watched along with my get ready with me. I just, it, it was so much fun. I had such a blast doing it, even though it was terrifying. And then also seeing my face, my bare no makeup face showing up in my newsfeed over and over again. And I was like, oh my God, every single one of my Facebook friends is seeing my gross <laughs> bare face in their newsfeed when they probably didn't ask for that. So, big announcement. I started a Facebook page, it's XOZane, same as my YouTube channel, so that when I wanna do another Facebook Live, I'm gonna do it through there and not my personal page. So, if you want to follow along with the Facebook Lives, again, it's so much fun, I love the engagement, I love getting to talk to people while I'm doing what I'm doing right now please go and like and follow the page at XOZAN on Facebook. I'm really excited about it. So let's get to it. First of all, if you don't know what a subscription box is, you pay for something to come in the mail for you once a month. It's super exciting if you love packages like I do. I like them a lot. There are subscription boxes for literally everything now. You name the interest and a subscription box probably exists for it, including for your dog. Beauty subscription boxes are kind of the OG. I think they're the ones that started it off. My personal addiction to subscription boxes started with Julep, which was originally a nail polish company back when nail art was the huge thing. And I would get new nail polish colors sent to me every month. And I loved it. And then Julep branched out. They started doing beauty and makeup products. And I followed Julep for a really long time. My next subscription box that I signed up for was Ipsy. So that's the one that we're going to start with today. It comes in this beautiful pink mailer. I'm going to be really conscious not to turn it around and show everyone on the internet my home address. When you sign up, you have the option of paying monthly or paying for the whole year, which gives you one month for free. The Ipsy bag, I should start calling it a bag. It is actually a bag. The Ipsy bag goes for $14.95 American, which translates roughly to about $20 Canadian, and that's all in. They don't charge you shipping. For the $14.95 USD or the $20 Canadian, you get five items, sometimes six, usually samples and sometimes full sizes. So if you get a full size product in your Ipsy bag, it is a good month. So let's open it up and take a look inside. Every month you get a bag. Every month you get a bag. The bag is usually themed to the season. So there's always really cute ones for like Halloween and Valentine's Day. This one is a winter theme for December. This is my December bag, by the way. So the bag could be added value, or if you're like me and you've been getting Ipsy for a long time, they're kind of all over the place. And so when I have a present for a friend, instead of wrapping it, I put it in an Ipsy bag for them because that's really cute. And then it's something that they can reuse. The first thing in my Ipsy bag is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. So as you can see, it's a decent sample size. Like I said, I did the research for you. Uh, the full-sized Too Faced Lip Injection is $29, and that's 4.14 ounces. This is 0 0.05 ounces, which is about 35% of the original product. So based on that, I calculated the value of this. It comes out to right around $10.35. So that's our first. The next product in my Ipsy bag is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. Mm. 
And again, you can see it is a really decent size for a pencil. I would say this is probably half to three quarters of a size of an actual eyeliner pencil. This retails for $22 in a full size and pencils unfortunately don't have weight or size listed on them, but at roughly half, I would say this is worth about $11. The third product is a full-sized product. It's the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara Deep Black. Does it say that somewhere? Anyways, this is the full-sized product, but if you know Essence, you know they are not very expensive. This is worth about $4.99, but don't knock it till you try it because Lash Princess by Essence had people in a tizzy last month. It's a really good product. I haven't tried this one. I don't really use mascara, probably gonna give it away to someone. The fourth product in my Ipsy bag for December is Way Hair Care Hair Oil. Way, I believe, is a high end hair brand. Way. At least I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I default to French pronunciation for everything. Way. Way. Like a Quebecer would say hi. Why? I mean, Yes, not I. I can speak French, I promise. Uh, Full-sized whey hair oil goes for $35. I calculated the percentage. This is about 20% of the full-size product. So this would be around $6.79 value. And the last product in my Ipsy bag, and probably the one that I'm most excited about, is this beautiful brush. Look at those jewels. I'm sure if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love sparkly things. I mean, check out this background, am I right? This brush is beautiful and it's got little jewels right in the in the bezel. I don't know what that's actually called on the brush. I just I just made that up. This is the L36 highlight tapered brush from SL Miss Glam. This crinkling is probably driving you crazy, I just realized. Let me take it out. I tried to find this brush online. I don't think this specific brush exists anymore. I think they may have discontinued it and that's how it ended up in Ipsy. But they retail for $325 for a set of 25 brushes. So it averages around $13 to $15 a brush. It's always a score when I get a brush in an Ipsy bag, and that's why I haven't been able to bring myself to stop getting them because I have gotten a few Luxie brushes in my Ipsy bag as well, and those are amazing. And so every time I get a brush, I'm pretty happy about it. The five products, the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss, the Smashbox Eyeliner, the Essence Mascara, the Way Hair Oil, and the SL Miss Glam Brush, Total value comes to $46.13. The total cost for my Ipsy bag is $19.63. So that is a savings of $26.50 or roughly around 43%. And in the value total, I did not include the bag. So consider the bag a bonus, whether you love them or you hate them. On Ipsy, they also have giveaways, which you can enter usually through social media posts. They want you to share. They want you to take really cute Instagram photos so they can repost them and get other people excited about joining Ipsy and getting a subscription for themselves. You can also review things for points, accumulate those points, and then redeem them for products right on the Ipsy site. And you also have a specific referral link. So for every person you get to join through your referral link, you get an extra 250 points. And guess what? I've got my referral link for you down below. So if you think that Ipsy is the subscription bag for you, then please use my referral link. I'll love you forever. Okay, next up we've got BoxyCharm. Ooh, this is how it comes, actually in a box. But here's the special thing about this box. I feel like they manufactured it specifically to fit inside a mailbox. So I have the world's smallest mailbox at my house. This fits inside of it perfectly, which is so nice for me to be able to come home and pull it out and start playing with it right away instead of having to 
haul ass to the Shoppers Drug Mart to pick it up, which is really annoying. BoxyCharm, when you sign up, you have the option of purchasing a month to month subscription, three months at a time, six months at a time, for which there are price breaks, or you can buy for the whole year, which gives you a box for free, just like we saw with Ipsy. A BoxyCharm is a little bit more expensive. It's $21 American. If you're in the States, it ships for free. If you're in Canada, it's an additional $5 for shipping. And then of course, with the conversion, it comes out to around $34 Canadian, but you're getting four or five full size products. And they say on the website that you're looking at over a hundred dollar value in each box. And that is true. They are really good products for the most part, for the most part. <laughs> so let's take a look. The really cool thing about BoxyCharm is that it comes with a card every month that tells you exactly what the products are, how to use them, and what the retail value of each one is. And it is actually the accurate retail value, again, in USD. Um, you can also always go to the website to find out more about each of the products if you've never heard of them before. My first item in my December BoxyCharm is the Real Her Blush Kit. It's got a cute little saying on the front. I don't actually really use blush. Maybe I should start because this is nice. It looks nice. Uh, retails for $32 US, which is about $40 Canadian. This is a conversion at the time of the video recording, so it could vary slightly. My second BoxyCharm item is Tarte Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. This looks like a really nice mascara and actually the description on the card said that it provides 27,000, 27,000? 2700 percent more volume on your lashes i don't know maybe i'll try this one it's hard as a high-end brand a medium high-end i guess so maybe i will give this one a try 23 dollars american and it is available on sephora.ca for 30 dollars canadian my third december item is the bella pierre cosmetics pro concealer palette uh i thought it was weird that uh, Bella Pierre product came in my BoxyCharm. Not only that, but the retail value, the MSRP on the card said $29.99. And that was a shock to me because I'm so used to this being a winner's brand. In fact, during my Facebook Live, if you watched it, I was making fun of myself for still using this Bella Pierre bronzer as my contour because it works and I like the color and I like the way it blends, but this is not what I would necessarily call a good quality brand and that's why it's always super cheap at winners. So when I was trying to see if there was a Canadian price attached to it anywhere, I stumbled upon the Bella Pierre website and this product specifically had dozens of reviews all giving it one star and it was all people that got it in their boxy charm that were super pissed about how low quality it was so uh, i don't think that we'll be seeing uh, bella pierre in a boxy charm again anytime soon but if you ever need some you can find it at winners the suggested retail price is $29.99 American, which translates to about $37 Canadian, but I'm not even going to include that in the assessment at the end because it's just, it's not, I don't think it's really worth anywhere near that. I would say if you found this at Winners tomorrow, it would be like $7.99 probably. The fourth item in my December boxy charm. I learned my lesson for the last time. I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Ooh, is this crown brush. See this groove? It's got finger grooves in it. I have never ever felt that in a brush before. And I'm impressed. Uh, it's tapered. It is a deluxe blush brush. And this might be my new contour brush. I really like these ergonomic finger grooves. I'm excited about this. This retails for $12 American, $15 Canadian, and it's really soft. And the fifth and final product in my December BoxyCharm is probably one of the prettiest packaging 
on a lipstick I've ever seen. The brand is called Pretty Vulgar. which I also really like. And the color is called My Lips Are Sealed and it is a matte metallic liquid lipstick, which I'm really excited to try. This is probably what I'm most excited about in this whole box. Sorry, I always like to smell things. Also, look at how pretty the roses are. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, that was my chroma key. My chroma key is turning the green leaves invisible and showing the background through them. And I thought that there was like sparkle, like color changing on the lid. There's not, it's just matte. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. This retails for $24 American, which is about 30 Canadian. The five BoxyCharm products, the Real Her Blush Kit, the Tardis Mascara, the Bella Pure Pro Concealer Palette, which is not good. Uh, the Crown Deluxe Blush Brush and the Pretty Vulgar Matte Metallic Lipstick all together add up to $152. But if we scrap this, $115. $115 for $34 is a savings of $81 or roughly 70%. So in my humble opinion, the boxy charm is where it's at. You get five full size products every time. They're not always going to be winners, but that's the way it goes. It's always going to be a surprise and you're always guaranteed to get at least one thing that you're really excited about. Just like Ipsy, BoxyCharm also does tons of giveaways with their social media, same thing. So posting your Instagram, photos of your, of your boxes, they also have a point system, they call them charms. So when you write reviews, you gain charms as well as when people join using your referral link. And you guessed it, mine is down at the bottom for you in case you were like, yep, boxy charm is what I want. Use my link please and I will send you virtual kisses. So we have reached the end, that's it. Ipsy versus BoxyCharm, the ultimate beauty subscription box showdown. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and please, please consider subscribing to my channel. Once again, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so that I can have my own vanity YouTube URL. YouTube.com slash exozane. I'm so excited. I'm about a fifth of the way there. So if you can give me a subscribe, I would be very happy. Please also find my page on Facebook, XO Zane, and like and follow there for future Facebook lives because those are super fun and I want to do more of them. Once again, just a friendly reminder that my referral links to both Ipsy and BoxyCharm are going to be down below in the description as well as a full explanation of what I have on my face and what I'm wearing on my nails. Also, have you noticed my hair is so straight and so long? It doesn't even fit in the frame. It's like almost mermaid length. We're getting there. Thanks again for watching. You're the best and I'll see you next time. Bye.